Hoop Life Sports. If your job is to try to be the best basketball player you can be, mm -hmm. right? To do that, you have to practice, you have to train, right? You want to train as much as you can, as often as you can. So if you get up at 10 in the morning, train at 11, right? 12, say 12, train at 12, train for two hours, 12 to two. Um, you have to let your body recover. So you eat, recover, whatever. You get back out, you train, start training again at six. Train from six to eight, right? And now you go home, you shower, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you wake up, you do it again, right? Those are two sessions, right? Now imagine you wake up at three, you train at four, you go four to six, come home, breakfast, relax, so, so, blah, blah, blah. Now you're back at it again, nine to 11, right? You relax, and now all of a sudden you're back at it again, two to four, and now you're back at it again, seven to nine. Look how much more training I have done by simply starting at four. Right? And so now you do that, and as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors and your peers just grows larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. And by year five or six, it doesn't matter how, what kind of work they do in the summer, they're never going to catch up because they're five years behind. <laughs> Since I started kind of picking up the training um, to go through a schedule of my day, I, I get up at six in the morning and I start, uh, I do a training by, for about an hour or so. Uh, from 6 to about 7, 7, 15, and take my kids to school, <laughs> and then go straight to the practice facility and lift weights for about an hour, and then go out on the court, do a little extra shooting for an hour, and end the day with an ice bath. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a full day. Uh, well, when I, when I start, um, you know, I'll start on the track. Uh, you know, I'll start at about 5 o'clock in the morning, try and about 6 o'clock, you know, Talk about what led up to the big monster 81 point game. Well, it was you know, a thousand makes a day in the summertime, you know, and going through things you know, just as I would during the game. So, you know, I, I knew exactly where my positions were within the triangle and where, where the shots would be coming from. So everything that I did throughout the course of my training was literally simulating that.